So to start the challenge using IRC, you must send a private message to bot candy up one. The bot replies with a private message like this. You must then calculate the square root of the number and multiply the result of the number. You have two decimals. You have two, you have two seconds. So if the bot does not respond, you've been banned. Wait just a few minutes. The answer must be sent as F1 and then rep and then the answer. An example here is 25 by 2. You must send help rep response as a private message to the bot. Ooh, this is going to use some different, different skill sets. And so here we go. Let me drop in this information. Uh, and then we're just going to comment all this out. I'm just going to go notes. So a few things I will need to, to pull out of here first is, is that just since I've never worked with RC, some sample code here. So I use this. Okay. So it looks like we may be able to do something with this right here. It's importing socket, which we've used system, dropping in a couple of settings here. Uh, creating a socket a server. This is printing out that information, connecting. Uh, I guess we got a username and a password here. So it looks like some of this we're going to be able to reuse. They're using socket. Let's take this. L let's restructure the code. Let's come up here. Sockets. AF.net. All right, so we got our server, we got our channel. I think we're all pretty happy with all of this. Uh, actually for our bot nickname, yeah, we'll just put, we'll leave this as like a rainbow Ren 10 and then we'll just say bot name and that's just going to be Candy. And for this, actually I want to name, just rename this. That's just going to be uh, Nick, N-I-C-K, okay. So um, now that we've got that, I'm going to bump this font down one or two here. Hopefully you can still see it just as good as you were able to before. So IRC, and then we got a channel. We got Nick. We've got a bot name that's over here that's like Candy. Let's take some of the joining stuff out of here. So all right, so let's join the channel. So Chan and, okay, 2048. Um, and so if we want to call this, uh, we're going to go DEF, we're going to go main here and inside of the main join channel and the channel that we're going to join is going to be the, uh, just channel. So let's go channel. Okay. So here we go again. Um, thankfully most of this matches up. I think everybody just reuses the code over and over and over again. Uh, here we connect. We were naming this nickname. We're going to be using just Nick. N-I-C-K. Filling out the form. Okay, so there's a form. Uh, and we're going to go Nick right here. Okay, so I think this is looking for our nickname. And then it's doing a decode here. Cause this is our, this is our bot. All right, let's do this. Let's pull this one out. Okay. And so now in our main, so we're going to join the server and we're just going to pass the server, which we've already defined up here at the top, right? So we got a server right here and we're going to stop here. Let's save. Oh, we didn't use the, uh, the socket stuff. Okay. Let's save this. This is why it's good to kind of stop the program, save it, and then come right back to it. All right, let's come back over here and let's run it. All right, it connected in. Uh, root me challenge. All right, so we're, we are connected in here. So now what we want to do is we just want to actually like send that message, right? This is actually a lot better approach. Um, we are cheating a little bit. Okay, so we can send a message here, send a message to the target, so private message the target, and then we just need to pass in the message. Let's go send MSG. Let's see, that was this right here, EP1. And the target is just going to be the channel, C-H-A-N-N-E-L. Actually, no, this isn't the right one. This is going to be going to the uh, the bot. So let's send a message to the bot. I don't think it's going to come back with anything just yet, but we're getting there. Okay, 
All right, so it looks like it did send it. At least we didn't get any sort of like error here. Let's take that code that we already had and let's see what we can get uh, with this. Okay, so it sent the message. Let's see, I know my formatting is probably very craptastic at the moment. And we'll run our linter. Oh, it looks like it resorted it. Okay, excellent. That's what I wanted. Uh, I don't think we're going to need much of this code in just a second. All right, so we're sending the message. Yeah, while true is fine because it just means we're going to loop over and over this forever. It's always going to be true. So it should always trigger. So RC message, RC, we want to receive. Grab this right here. And I'm going to force this to UTF-8. And then inside of this, we'll go RC MSG. We're going to equals there uh, RC msg dot strip and then inside of the strip we're going to get rid of slash r slash n actually i think it's the other way around right that would get rid of all of the carriage return new lines after this finishes we could take that um irc message we could print that over here to the console i'm just going to do a control x here we'll go RC MSG will we'll find the private message and then once we find uh, the private message which this looks lo looks like this is going to be good this is where we actually could do some of that parsing and then why don't we actually print out what we've currently got RC sock let's come back up to this one Okay, so here's the messages, right? Check this out. Here's the here's the question. It is three ninety nine divided by six seven six eight. Oh, oh yeah. Boom 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 boom. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay, I'm sorry. I have not called up with everybody in the chat room, which is an absolutely great uh, problem here. Here, we're going to go sample message, and we're going to drop in. Okay, so the answer is all the way at the very end, and it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we could chop off the last 10, right? And then parse from there. What do you think would be the easiest way to split these things back out again? Uh, message, maybe like a message one or something. And that is RC message dot split. Let's do something here. Let's just go MSG one and let's just go zero. Uh, let's run this one again. Okay, good. Okay, so it picked up the first piece of it, right? So that was this. So we got zero, then we've got one, we've got two, and then we've got three, four, and five. So three is what we're gonna go try to pull out of this. We need message number three. And yeah, I know we could add in some like error detection and things of that nature if we wanted to. Number five. Uh, run this one more time. We should get those two numbers back. Okay, great. So we do have the 405 now, and we do have the 1647. Uh, what is it? Dot, um, dot strip uh, parentheses here. Oh, I need to put in the uh, the little tag up here. Um, so we'll put in the tag USR uh, bin Python 3. I'll just drop this in there where we can keep moving on. And let's put put this in here okay so message one the third index the first character and then the colon here we're going to save it let's go in let's try it again we are so close everybody we are so close okay so we got our 761 which we parsed out of this and then we got our 2365 now we got to do a little bit of math now if we want to actually get the square root of the number it's just math dot square root 
And what we're going to punch in here is just going to be uh, actually just this first stuff right here. Uh, let's drop this in there. The answer to the challenge is going to be answer is the square root times message one, uh, number five here. Let's take this. Let's drop this in here. Actually, I think we could print these out. Now, we're not responding yet to them, but we're just trying to get the answer, right? Float. Okay. Uh, this doesn't exist anymore. This is, actually, we don't need this one. Okay. We can use an int. We can use an int here. I was adding some text in there. We we trust this will go okay. Mm. Oh, interesting, interesting. No, we don't want the uh, colon at all. Um, the colon. So here's how we we got this. So we got four thirty four. Let's see. Let's see how smart you all are. We got 434. What's the square root of 434? Does anybody know? Square root of, what did I say, 434? All right, so you got 20, 83. Keep in mind, kids, it's best to do this mathematics in your own head or with a pencil and a piece of paper. Let's just do a, a round and let's go to, yeah, let's see something though. We'll do it both ways. Um, okay. So we now have our one, four, nine, nine, five, seven dot three, seven. Okay. So if everybody's good here, we're going to go with, this as the final answer. And now all we need to do is we just need to reply, right? We need to reply to that bot. Okay. Let's take this and let's come down here and let's go send message uh, we're going to be sending the answer to the bot name irc message here okay str uh we're going to convert that into a string here there was a you need to send it back in this reply right here and we'll go this we're going to go plus string answer and then bot name. Okay. 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 We're going to save it and then we're going to come back over uh, here again. Let's run it. <laughs> uh, I do appreciate you and take care everyone. Bye bye.